A lot of people are exploring Pioneer right now, trying to find the first thing that'll get banned. And a lot of people say it's going to be Aetherworks Marvel. Right off the get-go, before anybody could play this format, people are saying Aetherworks Marvel is gonna be quick banned. And we're gonna explore today and see if it's as busted as they say it is. Everyone is like so adamant about it. Um, but our deck is gonna be a little bit different from the norm. I see a lot of people go in traditional teamer, like it was in standard, you know, with Harness Lightning Attune with Aether, Rogue Refiner, that kind of route. But my brew is gonna be quite different. It's gonna be borderline mono blue, basically is mono blue. And it's going to have since, okay, so think about it. Uh, in Pioneer, we don't have access to Ancient Stirring, so it's not gonna be as easy to find Aetherworks Marvel, so you might have some games where you just can't find one. So we have copies five through eight in War of Invention. So we're gonna play a very artifact-based deck, and War of Invention is gonna be our way to just tutor out an Aetherworks Marvel right when we need it. And I think that what's gonna make this deck consistent enough for Pioneer. That's just my theory, we're gonna give it a try. So let's jump right into the deck tech, followed by the gameplay. Hope you enjoy. If you wanted to pick up today's deck while also supporting the channel, you can get your cards from tcgplayer.com by clicking the decklist link down below. This video is supported by InkedGaming.com, the number one source of custom play mats and MTG accessories. You can find their link in the description box down below, and don't forget to use coupon code MarinMoon at checkout. This video is supported by our generous patrons. If you'd like to join the Marination as well, you can find our Patreon link down below in the description, and you'll also gain access to our Patreon exclusive Discord server where we discuss deck ideas for future videos. Without even playing this deck, I can already guess that it's going to be quite decent. The only thing that I'm really fearing is Collector Oof, because we actually don't have an answer to that in our 75. Well, we have two, maybe, potentially. Um, but I feel like people are going to be putting those in their sideboard, preparing for a potential Aether Works Marvel decks. So that's the one thing that we have to watch out for. Um, otherwise, we did play Aetherworks Marvel in the modern format, and we went like 6-in-1 with it. So if it can go 6-in-1 in modern, I have a feeling it'll be quite good in Pioneer. So let's check it out. Starting right off with the main combo, Aetherworks Marvel itself. It is a 4-mana artifact. Whenever a permanent is put into the graveyard, we can get an energy. So it's really cool that you can like Legend Rule and Aetherworks Marvel with itself and get 2 energy off of that if we need to spin the wheel again. And we can do that off of Marvel itself with the spin. So we can tap it and pay 6 energy, look at the top 6 cards of our library, and cast something from it without paying its mana cost. So we would want to get Ulamog or Emrakul. Uh, we could also get a Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot if we do whiff and we need to spin again. Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot can help us. But Ulamog and Emrakul will get their cast triggers because Aetherworks Marvel says that you can cast them. So Ulamog is a 10-10 indestructible. It's going to exile two things when you cast it off Aetherworks Marvel, basically going to prompt the opponent to concede. Emrakul is going to take the opponent's next turn, then they get an additional turn after, but at least we can waste all their resources and screw them up. And that should buy us the time to get another Marvel spin if Emrakul itself doesn't win the game. So onto our energy production to spin the wheel. Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot is the best one we have because it makes three, then you can crack it to make three more, and that will give you the six you need for Marvel. It also gains us some life and stabilizes us against aggro because we don't have a lot on the line of defense. Then we got Glass Blower's Puzzle Knot, which makes you two energy. You can crack it for two more, but you are gonna need another thing to follow up with to get six energy. And then we got Aether Theorist, uh, which makes three energy when it enters, and it is a decent blocker. In the Pioneer format, a 1-3 body is a pretty decent blocker, because you're gonna run into a lot of aggro, like mono red and, and whatnot, and a lot of just like weenie decks that are just running 2-2s two and 1-1s, and, one -ones. and Aether, Aether Theorist is gonna be a pretty decent blocker. Uh, we don't intend to use that Squire ability on it, but if we have a little bit of extra energy, like off of Aether Hub or something, we can use that energy to scry if we're desperately looking for a Marvel. So it's quite decent, but this is our only energy generation. But we also have Word of Invention. Uh, Word of Invention is the next uh, main part of the deck. It can find an, uh, like a Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot or something if we need the energy, if, if we already have a Marvel. But most likely this is copies 5 through 8 of Aetherworks Marvel. Now, as you notice, a lot of our energy generation is in the form of artifacts. And they're going to help us improvise into Word of Invention to find an Aetherworks Marvel. Uh, so it's a pretty good toolbox piece. Could also help us find certain things that we need for the situation. Uh, so I feel like this is going to be the way to go with Marvel. There was a lot of different things to try. You can just go traditional, just like opt in like... Stuff like that to try to find it and just go with Rogue Refiner to Cantrip. But I didn't think that that was quick enough, so I wanted War of Invention instead. So we're going to give that a try. Bring to Light was also a thing, but I feel like it's a little bit too difficult and clunky. 
Anyways, since we're running Rare of Invention, we have some more cantrip artifacts, pseudo cantrip artifacts in Witching Well and Sentinel Totem. They enter and scry. Uh, Witching Well, we can crack it later. Sentinel Totem is uh, like main board graveyard hate, which is quite useful. Uh, Witching Wolf, it gets to the super late game and we haven't found a marvel for some crazy reason. Crack it to draw some cards. Golden Egg enters and replaces itself, draws a card. You can also crack it to gain three life. Again, if you're going up against aggro, Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot and Golden Egg is really going to help you stabilize so that you can buy some time to find a marvel. But these are all artifacts that will help you dig. At the same time, they'll help you improvise your Whir of Invention. And Witching Well especially because it's blue, so it can generate the blue mana that Whir of Invention needs if you're super low on lands so i think that this package worked out quite well in testing we're gonna give it a try and see how it does we have a total of 21 lands i originally had 20 but i put one more just for security we do have that green splash in there and that is mainly just for a couple sideboard cards and cracking woodweaver's puzzle knot because woodweaver's puzzle knot does need a green to be able to crack so we have a little bit of a splash in there and then onto the sideboard we got two copies of ceremonious rejection just to be prepared for the mirror match potentially because i have a feeling we might possibly run into one or two of them but i actually haven't seen a lot of people playing uh marvel none of my friends i haven't seen them run into it at all and i haven't run into it but still got to be prepared for the potential mirror match with those ceremonious ejections then we got two copies of veil of summer this is uh another thing that our green splash is for so that is going to protect our stuff against counter spells basically counter a spell draw a card when we're going up against potential counter spells so it's basically like another copy of dispel um also protects our marvel from Colagon's command potentially and then we have the play set of the Swaggin Thriving Turtle. Now the Thriving Turtle is a one mana zero three that when it enters the battlefield generate two energy. When it attacks, you can pay an energy to get a 1-1 counter on it. We do not intend to do that. The only reason Thriving Turtle is in there is against the mono red aggro decks that are going to attack you with a bunch of 1-1s and 2-2s. And we are just going to have that as a blocker and it'll generate us energy. It's going to be an annoying roadblock and also get us more energy for Marvel. So that hopefully is going to come in clutch against aggro. Then we have two copies of negate for control for potential combo decks on the opponent side. I've got to stop those things because we are kind of dirtling a little bit and we are kind of just sitting here letting the opponent do whatever they want. So we have to just negate them if they find a combo piece. And we got two copies of Aether Spouts. This is our removal in the deck. I didn't feel like we had enough islands to justify running uh, Engulf the Shores. And Aether Eyes is just like a soft board wipe, but Aether Spouts is kind of like a very underrated board wipe. Tucks all the opponent's creatures. When they're going super wide, just tuck them all like instant speed terminus. So hopefully that'll be quite clutch. Then we got one copy of Spell Pierce. This is again for the counter wars, but can also double as being decent against burn um, or anything that's going to try to disrupt us with thought seize, maybe like if we're on the draw. Then we got one copy of Dispel. Again, this could help against burn, but also against potential counter spells. And then Disdainful Stroke is there for like control decks that are going to have huge planeswalkers like Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, and whatnot. So that's about it. I'll get the stream started and I'll see you in the first round. Got a game here against CBR MTG, and yes, we are going to be on the play with some Marvel Whir. We got a Marvel, we got a Sentinel Totem to scry. I'm going to keep it and hope to scry into like a Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot, because that'll give us the energy that we need. Alright, Sentinel Totem, give me some goodies. I'll keep an Aether Theorist. Why not put Nexus in here? Oh, dude, you're right. Nexus of Fate. We're in a Nexus of Fate. That'd be cool. Although, why not just, like, part the Water Veil? Because it's cheaper, and you could hard cast part the Water Veil if the time calls for it. Alright, they once upon a time for a forest. So, Hardened Scales is the name of the game here. Nexus is cute ad, but space is enough. Yeah, like, you can literally just, like, part the water wheels cheaper. You have a, b a better chance at hard casting it. I would just go with that instead. I think people overreact about Nexus of Fate when you can just run the cheaper one. The fact that it shuffles back in, I think, is the reason why people play it, though. Wait. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I see what's going on here. Ooh, I got the I got the Woodweaver's puzzle now. Now I can Marvel next turn. Sweet. 
That's awesome. So I'm actually hoping for an an Emrakul here because Emrakul can blast their dudes. Yeah, like Emrakul will take their turn, use Ballista to kill this and that. Like if I Emrakul, they probably have to sack their Ballista in response so that I don't use it to destroy them. All right, Aether Hub, getting energies, and Aether works marble. Spin the wheel, and we whiff. All right, but get a Wood Weaver so that we can spin again next turn. As a turn, I don't know why they didn't attack. All right, so now at this point, I kind of want to Ulamog to exile Steel Overseer and hang her back, Walker. That's a threat. And a fat Stone Coil Serpent. This is scary. Is that even a construct? Snake. Don't block the biggest boy. All right, let's uh, crack a wood weavers, get some energy. All right, we whiff. So let's grab another Aetherworks Marvel and get another spin. Wait, I can't do that. I'm, I'm one mana short. I think I'm one mana short. Yeah, I'm literally one mana short of doing that. Well, I already chose it, so I have to do it. Well, I get two energy. Unfortunately, this exiles. And I think we're dead. Yeah, we die. Man, that's a bummer. We whiffed twice. Two Marvel spins and we whiffed. That's crazy. All right, against Hardened Scales, Ceremonious Rejection seems good. They have a lot of artifact creatures and stuff that I want to hit. A lot of Haymakers. Aether Spouts is not bad either, so let's bring that in. And, um, yeah, I think that's all we want. So let's cut two Wurrs and two Sentinel Totems. We're on the play, so let's leave in a Wurr. Let's just cut a Golden Egg. Try like that. The immediate thought that Marvel is an absurd deck is because you're basically just playing block constructed with no improvements. Pretty much. Uh, this hand's hecka sketchy. Basically a five card hand because these are dead cards here. So I go Aether Hub and the next one I go Golden Egg, try to find a land, play Aether Theorist. I gotta find one more piece of energy and I, I'm very far off of worrying for four. Yeah, I think it's a little sketch. I'm gonna mull. This is better. I'll keep this. Keep that. Throw away Emrakul. So first turn, let's just leave up, leave up uh, ceremony rejection. We got the, we got all the uh, what you call the, uh, the energy we need. We just got hit lands. And find our thing. Steel Overs here. So I definitely want to save Ceremonious Rejection for that. So unfortunately I might miss my land drop because I definitely want to hold up Ceremonious Rejection for that Steel Overs here. Because that is quite a haymaker. Don't coil soypent. Land. Yay, I hit my land. So I can just take the turn off to Ceremonious Reject that Steel Overs here. I'll take one. No, dude. Made me waste my turn. Hardened scales, that's a bummer. Well, at least I'm getting close to Aether Spouts.
All right, Aether Hub. Glass blowers. Try to find my lands. That's a land. I'll keep that. I should. I probably should have kept that wood weavers. Because now I have to take a turn off to crack a uh, glass blowers puzzle knot. Ceremoniously reject that. Okay, so now I can just go double glass blowers. Try to scry really intensely for that marvel. So play the Aether Hub we topped. Glass blowers. Show me marvel or show me where. That's a where. But I also need to draw a land too. No, no, wait. No, I don't. I just literally were next turn for marvel and spin it. So that to the bottom, were to the top. Glass blowers again, and now I have enough for were. Wishing well to the bottom, were of invention to the top. Now I have eight energy, so yeah, I can spend the energy and do it. All right, cool. We're good. We in there. Let me try to catch up with the chat. The chat's going by so quickly. Cruz is good in Jeskai. I think it's good in Phoenix. Blue Red Phoenix. But you know what I've found really broken is Dig Through Time. I think that Dig Through, if, if any, if either Treasure Cruise or Dig Through Time would get banned, I think I would rather ban Dig Through Time. It's crazy. So it's Word for four. Get the Marvel. Spin the Marvel. Get the Ulamog. Exile two lands. See if that'll win the game. <laughs> Don't have a removal spell for my Marvel, please. And we got there. All right, sweet. And let's submit it right back, I believe. Yep, seems good to me. Thriving Turtle doesn't block very well here. Their stuff's massive as your mom. All right, turn four Marvel. Keeping it. I need to draw one more form of energy generation, but hopefully Wishing Well can scry me into it. They always have a turn zero once upon a time. They find Spire of Industry. You have four rest in peace in your sideboard? I don't blame you. There's a lot of graveyard decks right now. Crazy. Alright, Wishing Well. Energy? That's energy. And I already have my four lands, so top that. back Waka Flocka. Interland Harbor. Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Next turn we'll just take the turn off to crack it, get six energy, spin the Marvel Wheel. And I better not top deck into Ulamog or Emrakul. Animation Module. Ballista. It's fine. I'll take it. Aether Hub, go. Just don't do anything over the top busted here. You may hear neighbors in the background. Hanger back walker again. Gonna get some servos. They are. So what would I rather have here? Probably an Emrakul. Alright, get the energy. Untap. Marvel. Spin the wheel. Dang, son, I missed. I whiffed. We might kill it now. Our right, Aether Theorist is a blocker. Not like this. Oh, this is terrifying. We might be a little too slow now. 
You know what I need? I need Ulamog to exile their hangerback walkers, and then I'd feel comfortable. Okay. Hit that. What crazy shenanigans are going on here? Another hanging back walker. Okay. That's not the worst thing in the world. They got zero cards left. Alright, um... Play Aether Theorist to get the energy I need. I drew the Ulamog. Now let's try to fix our scries here. Bottom both of those. Come on, give me goodies. Bottom both of those. Spin the marble wheel, come on! Emrakul. Does Emrakul do anything good here? I don't think so. They probably have to crack their... No, they left their hanger bag walker or their walking ballista small for a reason. Alright, so... Play Steel Overseer. Shoot Steel Overseer. And shoot the servo. Um, do I even want to swing? <laughs> do I even want to swing and give them a bunch of thopters? I'm gonna say no. No attacks. Pass the turn. Oh, I should have used animation module to give me another energy. Dang, I should have done that. Oh man, I, I missed, I missed it. That would have been 200 IQ play, but like I said, only got 199. All right, I'll save the damage. Oh wait. I just want to chump the biggest one and get another energy. Probably. Probably want all the energy I can get. Zero left. Oh, I'm so close to that. I am just way too close to that. I can live, though. I can live here. Just give me the land. Okay. Alright, we're in there. Aether Spouts is live. Can I live a swing? Can they do anything scary? So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, attack. Try to get that, that lethal in there. They're taking it. I'll take a swing. I'll take a swing. Come on. The clutch Aether spouts. Pass the turn. F6. I'm not dead here unless they literally have Inspiring Call. Or um, Incremental Growth. Wait. Oh, they can do that, huh? Am I dead? Uh-oh. Did I just kill myself? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, we got a 1! We got a 1! We're going to one here. I don't think we're dead. I, I think we're at one. At one. Come on, no ballista. Don't tell me you topped a ballista. Oh, sure. Sure. All right. This is lethal. I already have lethal. I win. I win here. I just attack. <laughs> Yep, they scoop it up and we got there against probably the most broken deck in Pioneer. Hardened Scales, taking him down with Marvel, potentially the second most broken deck in Pioneer. Oh man, that was a close one. Got a game here against Bonkers455. It's a nice name. Got a Mollusk as your lands. Um, I'm gonna keep that one. And let's throw away a Sentinel Totem. Because we have a tap land, unfortunately, on the first turn, but I can scry with Witching Well to find my next land, and then Glass Blowers to find my next land, and then play a Wood Weavers, hopefully draw an Aether Hub, and then play Marvel and win. Alright, Stomping Grounds is a good start. That probably tells me they're not. Okay. Never mind, it's a mirror match.
And I didn't hit my lands, but I can Witching Well. There's my land. Put that land on top. Let's hope they don't have the Marble Wheel before we do. Another Servant. Woodweavers. Glass blowers. There's my lands. All right, top and top. I don't need to play the Witching Well next turn because I already know that I want that land. Actually, you know what? I might try to scry and see if I can hit an Aether Hub, so I will play it. Oh, go. That's a threat. Tentacle Sanctum. Let's try to scry into a potential... Nope, that's not gonna do it. All right. Word to the bottom, island to the top. Woodweavers. And I can't just slam the works until I can spin it, so... Start on the conduit. Alright, we gotta just pass and crack the woodweavers. Are we dead, though? We might just be dead because Oko's busted. Alright, let's crack this. Do we live? Nope, because Oko's busted. Alright. Bonkers 455? Yeah, right. They, they, I actually expect them. I expect them to have counter spells here. I'm gonna bring in Ceremonious Rejection because it's a mirror match. I know they're gonna have Marvel. Do I really need to do that, though? Do I really need Ceremonious Rejection? I'm on the play. I'm probably just trying to go quicker than they are, but it might be worth it, but I tap out a lot. Yeah, whatever. I think I'll bring it in when we're on the draw, but on the play, I think I'll just I'll run it back. like to play first yes again we uh don't have mana so we got them all all right i'll keep that we have the energy we need oh well, let's bottom a sentinel totem i think all right so we scry we scry and then we uh do a thing I'm gonna start on glass blowers because I want to find out currently if I have to. Um... Oh, there's a marble. Okay, so now I'm just looking for lands. So I do have to play Aether Theorist. I'm gonna start on Aether Theorist because I can dig deeper with the glass blowers next turn to try to find the land. Siemens shocked. Another vessel of nascency. Oh, so that tells me that they do have a counter spell. They are holding up ceremonious rejection. That's a bummer. Well, bottom both of those. Those are not lands. Please tap out for a rogue refiner. Yay! Alright, give me a land. No! All right, well, I'm going to pass and hold up glass blowers. Um, Sentinel Totem is literally just um it one mana ETB scry helps us find our stuff but also helps for wear. So, yeah, one mana scry rock helps pay into wear. Scry. There's our land. Top the land. Play the land. Play a marvel. Spin the marvel. Didn't hit anything. Alright. Get an Aether Theorist. And spin the wheel again next turn. 
I can double block one of these rogue fighters here. If they want to use a hardest lighting, that's fine. Makes them tap out more. Seems like a fine trade for me. I get another energy. That's the sixth energy I need. Are they going to kill my Marvel or Oko it? They're not going to Oko it, but they can return to nature if they have that. Oh, they have an Oko. And they're going to turn my Marvel into a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, Oko's a busted card. Good thing I have a backup Marvel here. Ooh, they don't turn my Marvel into a 3-3, three, three, so I get to keep the Marvel. Dang, I wanted to, I wanted to spin for that. Okay, well, I get one anyways. Get one of those. And let's play a Puzzle Knot. And let's bottom both of those. Pass a turn, take their turn. Alright, this is their hand. They did have the Ceremonious, I knew it. So they can reveal the top four cards. You may put an artifact creature enchantment or land of planeswalker into your hand and put the rest into your graveyard. I might just crack these and do nothing. All right, I can exchange control of target artifact or creature you control. Yeah, let's do that. Let's kill off Oko, exchange control of... Can I crack this? I can't. Of Rogue Refiner with Aether Theorist. And then let's... Is this a May? I have to use it. All right, so I'm not going to do that. I don't even want to shock a breeding pool either. Let's just crack a vessel of nascency. And let's say none of them. Crack vessels. Say none of them. And then let's go to combat. And swing Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Block it with Emrakul. And pass the turn. Okay, so they have Ceremony Rejection, so we cannot play the second Marvel. They're tuning. So they are definitely a Marvel deck. We see Emrakul. And Vessel is just a crack. Help find it. Alright, so... Oh man, I should have cracked in my upkeep. Alright, let's go to combat. Swing for 16. Takes it down to one. All right. Um, dang, I should have cracked my my glass blowers on my upkeep. I screwed up. I definitely screwed up. Now I can't spin the, the Marvel wheel right now, but I can do it next turn. And they don't find the answer. Did we get there? Oh no, it's game three. All right. So I definitely want ceremonious rejection of my own, and I definitely want veil of summer. And dispel. So let's cut a golden egg, a whir, a sentinel totem, a sentinel totem. Hello. Yo, Jet Black JP8, thanks for the follow. And another sentinel totem. Got three sentinel totems and a whir and a golden egg. We're gonna like that. Wait, 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 wait. Bring in spell pierce. No! Should have run spell pierce for Ogo. Okay, that looks good. That's a turn four Marvel spin if they don't have any answer. Alright, uh, Botanical Sanctum, pass turn. I gotta draw one more, one more energy generator. In with Aether. Finds a forest. There's a Whirr. Play Aether Theorist. I don't think I can afford to scry right now.
You know, hold on, I might actually scry. So I want to find another Aether Theorist. Ooh, Mog definitely not want to draw that. Ooh, I'll take one of those. I'll take one of those. That works. Back up to three energy. Now I gotta find a Wood Weavers or a second Aether Theorist, and then I can spin the Marvel. There's a Oko that I wanted to bring in Spell Pairs for, but didn't. I'm gonna die super fast. Can I find. I can find the Wood Weavers. Okay, I'm kind of scared to slam Marvel here. I'm just gonna slam the Wood Weavers and then I'll play Marvel with uh, Ceremonious Rejection backup here. I don't think I'm gonna chump block, so let's just attack Oko. We'll take it I'm down to 14. Servant of the Conduit. They definitely got a counter spell, don't they? Well, I'm gonna go for it. If they got it, they got it. Oh, it resolves. Uh I want this Ulamog, I think. Cast Ulamog. Exile Oko and Servant of the Conduit or Land. Um, let's just hit a land. Let's hit their red sources if possible. And I'm going to hold up a Ceremonious Rejection. Just pass a turn. I can block Servant, block a food. See if they got a thing of their own. Ishkana. <laughs> You're nice. Alright, so... I can whir for a wood weavers. And then I'm one short of cracking the wood weavers. Dang, I'm one short. How can I do this? We're for wood weavers, and I'm one short of cracking wood weavers. I can witching well here. Put those to the bottom. Do I have to leave a blocks? No, I'll, I'll chump block here. I think I'll chump block here. So let's just attack. I can live. They're gonna take 10, go to 10. At least I'm forcing them to leave something back. Packs with everything? Alright, I will chump block. Get an energy. Just passes. Alright, let's, uh... Crack this Wood Weavers. I could have cracked Witching Well, but whatever. And now let's crack Witching Well. Oh, that Ulamaga would have wanted. Play Aether Hub. Uh, go attacking and force them to chump block. I can go to two here. Mill 20. They chump. Spin the Marvel. Get an Emrakul! And that'll do it. I think that'll do it. I'm pretty sure that'll do it. <laughs> All right, and we have Ceremony Subjection back up, pass the turn, your turn is mine. Oh, look at that beautiful hand. All right, let's go to combat. Hello. Attack with Ishkana. Block with Emrakul. 
Don't got death touch. And let's just go ahead and let you take your turn. Sheer, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a nice day. And they scoop it up and we won the mirror match. We won the mirror match, the ultimate test. Marvel word taking down traditional Marvel. And that was my plan is to make Marvel word more consistent with that word. And uh, we didn't even were in that match, but you know what? It worked. Got a game here against Great Boomer 1988. So we know that he's 31 years old. And uh, we're going to be on the play with some Marvel were. Um, this hand's pretty sketchy because I don't have enough energy generation here. I do have three lands, so I'm going to keep it and hope that Sentinel Totem scribes me into like a Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot. And if not, I'll just wear for it because I already have the Marvel in hand. So let's start on Botanical Sanctum. Try to just scry right away into like a Wood Weaver's or something like that. Wishing well to the bottom, not what I want. Although it wouldn't be bad to keep Witching Well. I'm I probably should have kept that because that gives us another artifact for Whirr. So it's basically like top decking a Birds of Paradise. So I honestly should have kept that. Looks like the opponent's on an energy deck as well. Gotta find out if it's a Tarka Pummeler. Or if it's um or if it's just like Long Tusk Cub aggro. Or if it's actually a mirror match. TK Wiz Kid, thank you for the follow. Turn the conduit, yep. Alright, well, next turn we can whir for a Woodweavers, crack it, and then play Aetherworks Marvel and spin it. So we need two turns here. Okay, it's just aggro. Alright, I think they won't be able to race this war because we just need two turns to do it, and we're also going to gain three life off war here. There's a Witching Well, so that's basically free. Although I don't need to do it here, because I'm going to war anyways. So, Aether Hub, go. Aether Hub, go. Another tune. It's a forest. See if it is Pummeler or not. Green X Devotion is the scariest thing you've seen so far. Yeah, dude, Mono Green Devotion, I'm a super big fan of. I definitely want to build that in uh, Pioneer. See if they got TBR. They don't have TBR. All right. We're for two. Let's grab Wood Weavers, gain three life. Probably buy us another turn. There's a glass blowers. Man, we are one energy short here. One energy short. I really hate the fact that this doesn't crack itself. It exiles. That's such a bummer. All right, so I guess that means I just have to go glass blowers plus crack this and then untap an Aetherworks. So let's do it. Um, all right, let's put Ulamog on top and then we're on top of that. So we draw we're next turn and then we spin the Marvel Wheel for Ulamog. And I think Ulamog should do it. We might take a huge hit here. They don't have Arona, so that's good. That's fine. Take the hit. I'm actually going to crack this Woodweavers now just in case they got double, like, Lightning Strike or whatever. Got a Giant Growth, sure. They got TBR. Sure. All right, crack Woodweavers. That become immense. All right, so is that enough? 
Yeah, that's exact. That's exact season enough. All right, that's a bummer. So they are pummeler. So we probably want some kind of artifact disruption, although we don't have any. Uh, Thriving Turtle is literally just a chump blocker here. Aether Spout. I probably want Aether Spouts. And I can just cut... What do I even cut? Golden Egg gains me life. I probably want to keep that. Honestly, I'd probably just leave it the same. Yeah, I'll just run it right back. I think all we have to do is just race it. Unfortunately, we had the turn 5 marble instead of the turn 4. Oh, that was a turn 6, actually. Would you like to play first? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna keep this. Because we got a cantrip. We got the energy we need. Just gotta find land, land, marble. What's up, ML Foki and Psycho Knot? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Did Jeff host you? Yes, he did. You are two of my favorite streamers? Oh, I appreciate it. Super nice. Let's get our energy. Glad to hear. Yeah, I really greatly appreciate that, Jeff Hoogland host. Unfortunately, Twitch fixed it so that, like, hosting doesn't help with your numbers anymore. But if it did, that would have helped immensely. But still, it's super awesome that he chose to host me. That's cool. Alright, um... Let's go with another Aether Theorist, get the energy, and then Witching Well, try to find a the fourth land. Or a were. This works so well with with Wur. So good. Alright, um, let's find out. Gonna braid that? Okay, harness lightning that, sure. I didn't even want to use it anyways. It's literally just a chump blocker. Alright, uh, there's our lands. I don't need the botanical sanctum, but I'll keep the aether hub. And that means that means that we can uh use Aether Theorist to scry once if we need to. So since they harness lightning for no value, that means they probably have the pummeler here. And that means we're going to die next turn. So we just got to hope they don't have lethal. I will block with both of my dudes. I got to soak up as much damage as I possibly can. Because they can just go Fido Burst plus Team or Battle Rage. And that's a lot. Alright, so Aether Hub in. And then I can just go Golden Egg plus Crack It to gain 3 life. And then just like block with both of these. Scry once, try to find it. A golden egg can trip. There's a land. Alright, so let's just pass. Now, I don't know if I want to crack my golden egg yet, because I might want to use it for were if I do find a were, so I'll see what I scry off of Vapor Theorist here. Pummeler getting in there. Alright, I will double block. Fun fact, I actually did brew up Pummeler. I was thinking about playing it. Not sure if I will, but I did brew it up. Dry and growth, sure. Doubles power, sure. PBR. Doubles power again, 16. PBR, alright, let's uh... If I crack my egg here... I go to 23, I soak up 9 of it, so let's just let it let the damage happen and see if we're dead. I think we are. Yeah, I think we're 2 over lethal here. And yeah, 3 over lethal. Dang, so close, man. So close. I feel like we were going to scry into it right there. Man. It's like, their combo is just a turn for, like, literally, a Tarka Pummeler is kind of like Infect. It's like a deck where if you're not going to interact with them, they're going to win. Period. They're going to win if you do not interact with them. So, it just comes down to, like, whose combo is faster. And it turns out that Pummeler is just a little bit faster. 
Got a game here against Zekery. We have definitely have gotten bopped by Zekery before. You guys are going to be able to play with some Marvel where Sniper 101, thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a nice day. And that is going to be a keep. Got the energies. We just got to scry into an Aether Hub. That's what we need. Got to scry into an Aether Hub. Looks like a mirror match so far. Okay, never mind. This looks like copycat. So far, it looks like copycat. Could be mono green devotion. I mean, technically blue green. Elvish mystic. Okay, definitely some kind of a uh, huge hollow. Thank you for the follow. Definitely some kind of go big green deck, which plays just big fatties. And that's just there for devotion. All right. Um. Oh, we got the Aether Hub. That means we can go with the turn four marble spin. That's great. Asic Forest. Sylvan Carry added, I'm guessing. Yep, Sylvan Carry added, so it could be Ascendancy, but I doubt it. Alright, uh, Hinterland Harbor, let's go Glass Blowers, Puzzle Knot, try to set up next turn's Marvel Spin. Unfortunately, I drew the Emrakul when I wanted to wheel for that. Um, Backup Marvel. I mean, it's just literally an energy producer. Don't want that. I don't know if I want that. I'm gonna say no and hope that I just didn't scry into another fatty off the top. Really hope I didn't. Alright, let's F6. Try to spin the Marvel wheel. I don't think they're gonna have counter spells, so I don't have to fear and get a backup Marvel. I think this one will stick. Four mana. Find out if you're a Stompy deck or if you're something weird. Like Questing Beast? Oko. That's fine, but that is going to turn my Aetherworks Marvel into a do-nothing. So I have to hit a Emrakul? Or I have to hit a Ulamog and exile Oko. They make a food. Lord Maxter, thank you for the follow. How you doing today? Oh no! See, I did scry into another Emrakul! I should have just kept it on top. Alright, well, no more Emrakuls. Can I get a new Lamog, though? Yes, I can! Alright, I would like I would like an Ulamog here. Exile Oko. Exile Botanical Sanctum. Alright, opponent. Here we go. I'll actually swing for one. Let's see if they can deal with that. If they have a second Oko, they can just turn Emrakul into a 3-3 do-nothing. Which would be an absolute bummer, <laughs> but it can happen. Oko is not fair in the slightest. Oko, I feel like, needs to get banned. Just plus one, eliminate Ulamog. Literally one, one mana, just tick up, destroy target creature. Like, Oko, yeah, Oko must get banned. He'll kill Carnage, got it right. I think that Oko is just, like, he's good in every format, every format. He's busted in Commander, where you can turn people's Commanders into 3-3 three, three with no abilities, and you can't get him back until you sack him, kill your own Commander. He's busted in Vintage, where you can just turn people's mana rocks that they need for their deck into 3-3 three, three do-nothings. He's busted in modern, because in modern you just cannot deal with him. He's just undealable. And if he's undealable with modern, how do you even deal with him in Pioneer? It's just not fair. <laughs> but I guess Ulamog Trigger will do it. <laughs> Alright, um. 
do I want like some counter spell protection? I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if they're gonna have counter spells. I feel like their blue splash is just for Oko. Um, I feel like leaving it the same until I know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe Vela Summer is gonna be useful. Not sure though. I think I'll leave it the same. I don't know if they're gonna have counter spells. I feel like they're gonna have negates. You know what? Let's just bring in a couple Vela Summers. Because Veil of Summer can at least protect my my uh, thing from uh, Oko activation, my Aetherworks Marble. Oh wait, no. Wait. Oh yeah, protection from blue and black until end of turn. Yeah. So Oko can't target my SHIT. You would rather Watsi print cheap, efficient answers to these highly these high loyalty CMC planeswalkers? Yeah, like can we get like a cheap instant speed? Like, what if we got a one mana destroy target planeswalker? That would see so much sideboard play. Double veil summer aether theorist. This is uh this is interesting. Uh, I can scry into my next um energy generator, and then. From there, I just try to find a Marvel. I don't know. I'll try it. It's these Veil Summers are awkward. Okay, it's a Leyline of Abundance deck, so is it like we don't have Devoted Druid though? So, but that's a lot of mana right there. Okay, looks like I drew my my energy that I need to spin the Marvel. See what giant busted shenanigans they draw into. I was actually gonna brew this deck. I'm sad they did it first. I'm still gonna see what I can do with it though. <sighs> you tried it and it just feels too slow. Soul Flare is disgusting. Dude, I imagine you got a lot of good self mill in, in this format. Grizzly Salvage, Gather the Pack, Commune of the Dogs. Yo, yeah, what's up, Sore Wolf? Welcome back to the stream. Yeah, Boggles is disgusting, dude. Um, I played against a dude yesterday named Tanos who had this Boggles deck, and dude, it, it destroyed me. Wait, why didn't I play Witching well? I must have been looking at chat. Alright, well, I guess some of the glass blowers for a land or a marvel. Those, good thing I, I did that over Aether Theorist. This turn, good thing I scribed those to the bottom. Well, I can Aether Theorist plus Witching Well next turn. Try to find my fourth land, and then this glass blower is trying to help me find the marvel. So I feel like I'll be able to spin the marvel in three turns. All right, Oath of Nissa, what you grabbing? They have a lot of mana right here. Nissa, who shakes her boobies. So he can go two here, pump into Nick those, make one, two, three, four, five, six, and then play Nissa, and then still have five mana? Dang. Yep, so he can go Nissa here and start making three threes. Makes a 3 3 Haze Vigilance. Unfortunately, Mr. Aether Theorist Bald Dude can't block that. Okay, there's a whir. So if I go if I go glass blowers plus witching well, I can whir if I find a land, I can whir for four, find the marvel, but I can't quite spin it right off the bat. But I think I'm going to set up for that, so let's go glass blowers. We're just looking for the fourth land right here. Just looking for the fourth land. Those are not the fourth land, so let's bottom them. And let's go Witching Well. Come on, fourth land. And not be a Botanical Sanctum. Dude, where's our lands? 
Where is our lands? All right, well, if I top land, I can work for Marvel. This is looking like the first game all over again. Elves and Pioneer. Dude, yeah, Elves is good because it's got um, Beast Whisperer and the Great Henge. So it's kind of looking like that Great Henge Elves that I played on uh, in Modern a couple weeks ago. Or a few weeks ago. Several weeks ago. When Throne of Eldrin came out, I think it was like the second deck I played. And uh, it's possible in in this in this format pioneer but you don't have you don't have a heritage druid and nettle sentinel but you still got a lot of goodies what does this ult do any number four is one on the battlefield ouch okay i hit my land that's good but i can't quite spin the marvel yet so i literally die Let's see, I take three, six, that's nine. I can gain three life if I were for a... Oh, wait. I can Aether Theorist Chump Lock. No, I still die. No, no, I can Aether Theorist Chump Lock and were for a, a Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot and live. Top deck of Marvel, spin it. Yeah. All right, that's the play. That's the play. Let's do it. Nissa Paradox Engine so good. Oh, they can do this. Put a counter on each creature. No. Okay, now we die. Now we can't live. All right. Do I want Aether Spouts? I think I don't want Veil of Summer. I don't expect them to have counter spells. Bring these back in. Just go main board, main board on them, and run it back. We can do this on the play. On the draw, it's a little more difficult. But they just had the nut draw, the turn zero ley line, the Nissa and the Nykthos. This had it all. Matt Ness is Paradox Engine. Yeah, I'd imagine like Paradox Engine got banned from Commander, and I think, like, I think it's a crime that Paradox Engine doesn't see play in the modern Urza decks. But yeah, it's a thing. It can be a thing in this format, and it can be awesome. And I sold my Paradox Engines. I'm sad. I hope a, like there's a Paradox Engine format or a Paradox Engine deck in Pioneer. That's a good reason that they would not go down to bulk because they got banned from Commander. Would you like to play first? Yes. Okay. If I hit my land, that's a, that's a good old turn four. Alright, so let's... Uh, Sentinel Totem, try to scry into an untapped land and see if we just straight up win. Sentinel Totem to the bottom. Alright, so next turn I gotta play what we use next turn, crack it, get six mana, or get six energy, and then do the Marvel. Teferi, yeah, Teferi Time Raveler is 80 ticks. That's a good reason that I probably won't be able to play Copycat. I'll see if I can find a way to get a hold of them, though. I'll probably borrow them from somebody. Uh... That is not a land. Let's go Woodweavers. Can Carter Hoarder hook you up? No. Hard Hoarder can't do that. Despite all the advertising I'm doing for them, they're not doing anything for me. Alright, I hit my land. That's great. That's what I needed. They have access to five potentially here. I wouldn't mind them tapping out for Anissa. Oh, don't hold up a counter spell. Thank you. You better tap out. I yeah, sure. Sure. That's fine. Draw one card, get a two-two. 
More mana. He's pretty underpowered. Alright, now let's get the energy. Track this boy. And Aether Hub. Marvel. Ulamog? Question mark. That's an Emrakul. I'll take one of those. That seems like a goodie. Take your turn. But there, let's see if there's anything we can do to screw them up. Ooh. Ballista seems like a good thing to do here. All right. Um, They have an Ulamog of their own. Okay, I see you. So let's go with... Um, uh, let's go hanger back walker or walking ballista for two. And let's kill these elves. That's fine. And let's go to combat and swing the Hydroid Crisis. And I will block. All right. Seems good. Do I need to do anything else? I don't think so. Pass the turn. All right, your go, opponent. <laughs> that was good. Can you beat this 13 13 coming at you with what you got? I don't think you can. In before, into the Royal. The boar cut, welcome to the stream. Engine, Emery, Mana, Rocks, Mox, Ambers, Walking Ballista. Everybody's talking about that deck. Oh, so it was an Emery combo deck. That's what it was. Witching well. Alright, so I'm just going to... A War of Invention for... Um, I'll go attacking. I'll War of Invention for um, a Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot and just crack it and spin the marble again. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, opponent, beat this. Sticking with Band Spirits, good but fair. Dude, Band Spirits is awesome. And we took him down. The old turn four, play a marble, spin it, get a Emrakul. And that is what people are saying is ban worthy right there. Got a game here against Daloon with some Aetherworks Marvel. And we're going to be on the draw, and that looks like a great hand. Got a cantrip. We got some scry action. We got the energy that we need. Got to find a Whirr of Marvel. Let's keep it. All right. Good thing we didn't get thought seized. Oh, we got the Aether Hub, so now I don't even have to play Golden Egg. Uh, so let's just go Botanical Sanctum Pass. Okay, it's Abzan. They're probably holding up Grizzly Salvage. I would bet money that they're holding up Grizzly Salvage here. Actually, let's let's play Glass Blowers. I want to scry to a Marvel. Don't want that, and um, I don't want the other Glass Blowers. I don't want it because Aether Theorist gives me exactly the energy I need. Aether Theorist played Aether Hub, and I got six energy. They didn't actually hold up Grizzly Salvage. I'm surprised. Yo, what's up, Kyoji? Welcome back to the stream. Good to see you again. If you want to play a fair deck, Monastery Mentor is a good place to start as a win con. Yeah, totally. So good. Alright, let's discard Ulamog. Alright, um... Do we just go for the nut draw here? Screw it, I'm going for the nut draw. See if we top deck the Marvel. If I have a potential nut draw here, I'm playing to it. 
If not, I'll just go egg to can trip, glass blowers to scry. Rhino time? Poco. It's fine. Aristocrats. So this looks like a saffron olive style deck. Alright, untap Marvel. Nope. Alright, so Hinterland Harbor. I'm gonna egg first because I don't want to get thoughts eat somehow. Glass blowers. And now I could scry with Aether Theorist as well. Bottom both of those. Basic planes. Seder Wayfinder goes milling over. Stitchers, Rally. Yeah, so it definitely is a Saffron Abzan. They want to attack it, we'll block. All right. Let's put a stop on our upkeep because I can scry twice here. Like crafter. All right, let's cry. So no stopping or upkeep anymore. Oh, there's the marble. Keep in it. I I want Emrakul here because I because I can make them sack their whole board to cartel and then rally for zero if they have it. So, yeah. Got Marvel. Like if they have getting energy. Marvel time. Spin the wheel. Alright, come on. Give me a bomb. Dang, we didn't get a bomb. Alright, um, give me a wood weaver's puzzle knot, probably. Yeah. Let me check out their graveyard. Yeah, that, that doesn't look like a super good war. Eden for five will take it. Um, your voice is fine. Don't drop me a bomb. Okay, so let's crack glass blowers. To try to find a bomb on top. Those are not bombs. Let's bottom them. Spin the marble wheel. There's an Ulamog. Let's choose Ulamog. Alright, exile. Do I just exile their white sources? I might just exile their white sources. That's not even a bad idea. Because it'll stop them from uh, rallying. And rally is like the scariest thing they can do. I'm going to exile their white sources. They got a Coco here? Oh man. It's actually really scary. Double Cruel Celebrant. This is actually terrifying. Alright, well, I'm gonna crack my Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot now before they can respond and kill us. This is actually terrifying. We might lose. <laughs> I should have just hit some creatures. But I think the smart thing was hitting the lands. I couldn't have known they were holding up Coco there. Yeah, definitely not ban worthy. I agree. Oh man, they got a Grim Horror Specs now. So you obviously want three Marvels. I mean, three Marvels is fine. They Legend Rule each other. And we get two energy when we Legend Rule it. Well, let's save the most damage we can. All right, we go to 15. I gotta hit another Rulamog. Uh... 
Do I attack? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to attack here. Because I might die. I'm scared. I'm scared, Mom. Alright, um... Let's think. Let's think for a second. If I attack, they mill 20, and they will lose next turn when I attack. But the question is, can I survive? They're gonna flip up the Grim Horror specs. I'm gonna take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then I'm definitely gonna die to them sacking this twice. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. So I would definitely die if I just took a swing here. So I think I'm supposed to stay back and just marvel again. I have a backup marvel to spin immediately, so. Wait, do I? I don't know. If, no, yeah, because I can crack the egg. All right. Emrakul, that's what I wanted. Yes. Yes, that's what I wanted. All right. Get Emrakul down. Now let's think about this. If I get to take their turn, so, okay, they just scoop it up. <laughs> they don't even want to show information. All right, I think that'll do it. On to sideboarding. Our main board sentinel totems are clutch here. Um, I probably want Thriving Turtles because they block well and they give us energy. Um, so maybe I can just cut like golden eggs and a whir. Um, maybe a second whir. Keep in a golden egg. Just bring in the set of Thriving Turtles. Do I want Aether Spouts? Part of me says I might want Aether Spouts, but they just sack their board then. Uh, I'm thinking just Thriving Turtle. It blocks well, yeah. Alright, Thriving Turtle, you got a job to do. You got a job to do here. We got a turtle, we got an Aether Theorist, that's the energy we need, and a Woodweavers to gain a bunch of life. And we can use Aether Theorist to scry here, because we have plenty of energy in hand. Alright, let's do it. Swag and turtle, let's do it. Oh, uh, you may hear a noise in the background. Okay, never mind, the noise is gone. Awesome. Botanical Sanctum, Thriving Toidle. Driving Toidle. Blastoise. Let's play Blastoise. I mean, this is a baby turtle, so this is, uh, Squirtle. Let's play Squirtle. Hey, guess what? We can block that. Ooh, there's a whir. Well, I don't need to play Woodweavers quite yet, so let's just play this Aether Theorist and use it to scry. So let's stop on our upkeep. No, I don't need to stop on my upkeep. I don't need to scry right now because I don't have the mana for uh, Marvel anyways. So I might as well just pass and let them do their thing. Sun Cleanser. Oh, are they going Infinite Arcane Adaptation? Oh, no, wait, no, this is Sun Cleanser. That's not what I was talking about. But they can remove all our energy. That's fine. I still got plenty of energy. Ooh, that's a lot of energy. Driving Turtle again. Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Wait, I can't get energy? W wait, wait. N what? What? No. I can't get energy for as long as you can show some- That's stupid, it should just be an ETB effect. <laughs> Uh, I I have no answers. I cannot deal with this. I have no removal. I think we die. 
Hey guys, so I'm going to speed up the rest of this game, not the round, just the game, because as you can see, the opponent dropped a Sun Cleanser, which completely shuts down our entire deck. But for some reason, I decided to play on and just try to naturally get up to 10 mana and try to cast Eldrazi, which you can imagine doesn't work out too well, because, I mean, we actually could have been able to do it if it wasn't for their voice resurgence, sacking to get that elemental token that increasingly grows whenever they play creatures, because I'm blocking pretty well with the Turtle Squad, and I would have been able to get up to 10 get there but that elemental token is beating us down pretty well and we end up scooping it up and moving on to the next game so let's resume normal speed hope you enjoy the rest of the video ready turtles instead of rogue refiners dude they're sideboard blockers for aggro so like say you're going up against mono red and they have like turn one turn two turn three just all like two power guys you're gonna want a turtle more than a rogue refiner they're in the sideboard, dude. They're not- these are not in the main board. They're just sideboard for aggro. Alright. Aether Theorist, and we can actually use Aether Theorist to scry. So let's stop on our upkeep. What if I just started attacking with the turtle and just making it ginormous and that was our win con? Don't sun cleanse me. Voice, sure. All right, this is fine. Stop it or upkeep, Scry. Find me a land, please. That's not a land. Put it to the bottom. Draw. Battle Wood Weavers anyways, because that's how Moto works. But at least I can Scry my upkeep again. All right, opponent, no Sun Cleanser, and we can spin the Marvel. No Sun Cleanser, we spin the Marvel, we get the Ulamog, and you lose the game. Come on. Sure! This is perfect. Sorry, Turtle, but you gotta go. We're keeping the OG Squirtle. He was our homie. He was our starter Pokemon. And so we're keeping that one. Upkeep, Scribe. Nope, that's not a land. Come on! Come on, dude, land! Please! Please! Yes! Alright. Alright. Marvel. Marvel, spin the wheel! No! No! Wait, I can spin the Mar- No, I am so close, but I can't spin the Marvel right now. I'm one off of spinning the Marvel again here. Well, I guess that means I'm getting a Woodweaver's puzzle knot, right? Guess it does. Alright, we whiff, but we can spin the Marvel again next turn. Just please, don't Coco for Sun Cleanser. Just don't do it. Just don't be lame. Just don't be lame for once in your life. Come on. Just play two aristocrats and pass. Just play a, a more Grim Horror Specs. You know what I could have done, though, is I could have gotten a second Aetherworks Marvel off the Marvel, and then I could have attacked with the turtle for zero. See if they blocked, and if they did, I would get to spin the Marvel wheel. But I don't know if they would have taken that bait. Maybe they would have because they're a net decker. Then Tuco Husk, alright, that's scary. That can, that can potentially one-shot us. But that's not a Sun Cleanser. Screw it, it's time to chump. I don't need this anymore. Give me the energy. I'd rather have the energy right now. And upkeep, I am not gonna scry anymore. Oh no! Top to Nemerkel. Alright, spin the wheel. Oh, all the options. Alright, um. I think it's probably. Probably Emrakul, because Emrakul, like, I can take the turn and sack everything to, Nanhu to, to Nantuko Husk. Yeah, let's take Emrakul. That seems pretty good. I think that'll do it. And then let's pass the turn. You just throw up in your mouth. All right, let's see what you got. All 
All right. Uh, let's play a planes. And let's play a cartel aristocrat. And let's play a cruel celebrant. Actually, no. Let's play a plague crafter. All right, let's say okay. And let that trigger go. I'll sack Aether Theorist. Wait, trigger? Yep. They are going to sack the voice token. And I'm going to sack Aether Theorist. And I get an energy. And then Nantuko Husk is going to sacrifice everything. And then sack itself. All right, perfect. That looked good. That looked good. And uh, on my priority, I will crack a Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. All right, opponent, your go. Your go. <laughs> so much fun. All right. Did you top deck a rally? No! <laughs> the Sun Cleanser. Oh, man. All right, well, at least I have an Emrakul, and I can just swing twice with it. They can still win if they find a rally. They can still win. Oh, the based turtle. They're gonna take the swing. The based turtle lord right here, Squirtle number three. That's my blast toys right there. No rally, and we got there against Saffron Abzan Rally. That was so fun. Uh, Emrakul is just so fun that it can really screw them up because they have sack outlets. Just destroy everything. Got a game here against Aldane. And we're going to be on the draw with some... What do you call it? Aetherworks Marvel Were. And that is going to be a... I mean, as redundant as these are, it doesn't look terrible. I can scry on the first turn, try to look for my fourth land, and then glass blowers try to look for a marvel. And I have... I am actually one short of having the energy I need, but I feel like it's decent. Not against the Thoughtseize, but... Could be a mirror match. Yo, what's up, Wolfie Jim? Good to see you again. Oh, I got the energy I need. Sweet. Go Witching Well. Bottom those for sure. Hello. Slappy55. Thank you for the follow. Did you get that name from uh, Borderlands 2? Which aristocrats are legal? Cartel aristocrat is legal. You got Priest of Forgotten Dogs. Oh, and we got the Marvel 2. Just everything. So pretty. I just need the fourth land now. That's all I mean. Uh, so Cartel Aristocrat, Priest of Forgotten Dogs, Yeheni Undying Partisan, um, Butcher of the Horde, Nantuko Husk are your legal aristocrats, and your legal blood artists are Zulapur Cutthroat, Cruel Celebrant, and, um, uh, and, uh, the black red one, Scourge Diva, Judith Scourge Diva. And there's even one more that just is unplayable. Ooh, and we got the means to cast Marvel next turn, we hit our land, that's great. See, basically a mold of five because Emrakul and Ulamog are dead cards in hand. But we bottomed two Ulamog, so we know that we only have four potential targets to hit. One Ulamog and three Emrakuls are our potentials to hit, because the other two Emrakuls are on the very bottom. Alright, Pain Energy. Crack this for three green. Untap. Aetherworks. Marvel. Spin the wheel. Try to hit a Ulamog. We got an Emrakul, that'll do too. Alright, take their turn. It doesn't look like we can wreck them too much, but maybe we can do something. Let's find out. Okay, they got a Marvel of their own. We can't use it though. Why is everybody playing Ishkana? 
Um, what do I want to do here? Uh, I can Oko and turn my Witching Well into a 3-3. Three, three. I can literally just waste an energy with Servant of Conduit and do nothing. Okay, what can I do to destroy them, guys? What do you think I can do? What can I do to destroy them? Oh, because they run Vesla Nascency. Yeah, that's right. That's why they run Ashkana. Um... Playing Oko here doesn't help. I don't want to play their land either. I think I'm literally just going to... Waste an energy here. And skip phases. And go to combat and attack with the Rogue Refiner. And block it with Emrakul. And just pass the turn? Huh. Part of me wants to... Okay, I can waste an energy with Aether Hub. I can... No, no, they didn't have enough to spin the Marvel Wheel. So, I can Oko and turn my Witching Well into a 3-3. Three, three, and then they're going to take up Oko next turn and turn probably my Emrakul into a 3-3. Three, three, and then I can kill Oko. That's not terrible. All right, let's go Oko. And pick up on Witching Well. And pass a turn. All right. Didn't wreck them too hard. Death Metal t-shirts look so cool. Literally all of them. Yeah, dude. This gorge. Got the angel on there. This is a good band right there. Go check out the song Burble by Disgorge. The best song ever. You do like them, but do you love them? They're one of the OG slammers. Oh yeah, you're right. Attack Servant into a 3-3. Three, three. Alright, so they turned Emrakul into a 3-3 three, three, so we can pressure Oko here. We are one mana short of playing and cracking a Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Um, I can go Woodweaver's with Glassblower. Let's attack Oko with both of these. So they can spin their Marvel Wheel next turn, unfortunately. Dang, and I'm one energy short. I'm one energy short here. Glass blowers. Try two. Dang, I gotta bottom that Ulamog. Oh wait, no, I didn't have to bottom that Ulamog. Can I undo? Control Z. Can I undo the scry? How do I undo the scry? How do I undo it? Come on. No. Backspace. Can I undo a scry in Modo? I'm so bummed. I'm so bummed about that. That was it right there, dude. And now, now they can turn my Aetherworks Marvel into a nothing. Man, I'm bummed. That is so sad. Now my Marvel's a 3-3 three, three, and I have to worry for another one if I gotta draw a land to do that though. Now they got their own Marvel to spin. Don't hit anything busted. Don't hit an Emrakul. Hit a Ulamog and hit my creatures. Come on, whiff. Whiff. Whiff and let me kill Oko and win and whir for another marble. 
Yes, they whiffed. Okay, I need to get an emerald out there. Golden egg. I did not hit my land, but I can kill Oko. Oh man, that's a bummer. Wait, is this is this still an artifact? It doesn't say it's an artifact. Wait. It works marble is green. I don't know if I can still wear with it. It just says creature, it doesn't say artifact. Kill Oko and hit them for three. Golden egg. And next turn I can wear for another marvel. Glass blowers gives me the energy I want. Um bottom and I guess top because I'm going to wear anyways. Alright, so they're gonna spin the wheel again. Just hit Ishkana. Just hit Ishkana, dude. Vessel and Nene. Shocks. Spins the wheel. Gets. No! Now they're gonna wear for nothing. They're gonna wear for nothing now. I better top deck another Marvel. All right, let's see what they do with our turn. Got an Emrakul. See, that's why they run the Ishkana in Vessel and Ace and C, so that they can hard cast Emrakul. Because, like, they have five card types in their grave with Vessel, so basically Emrakul costs eight, and they can naturally get to that with, like, Servant of the Conduit. So that's why they have it as a backup thing. Cracks the Golden Egg. They might work for Marvel and just Marvel into nothing. Yeah, I could see them getting a Marvel and worrying for nothing. Oh, they don't. So I have another Marvel in my deck still. Ooh. Okay. Okay, it's not over. They failed to search. That's fine. Come on, Marvel. I get another turn here. They didn't even attack anything. Aether Theorist. That's not exciting. Alright, well, play an Aether Theorist. And plan on cracking glass blowers puzzle knot. At least my deck is shuffled now, so all my Ulamogs aren't on the bottom. Vessel and Nene. Dang, they get to spin the Marvel again. Four cards revealed. Which one do they take? They probably take Rogue Refiner, I assume. Yeah, they took Rogue Refiner. So they can spin the Marvel again. Well, you just hit Ishkana or something that's not good. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't attack, but they didn't. Tom Bond's tapped. Swing Zemrico will take it. Alright, what you getting? Is it another Emrakul? The scoop time? They do get another Emrakul. It's not completely scoop time though. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scry and try to set it up so they draw a blank and I draw a marvel. Because I don't think they can screw up our draws here. They can crack into their glass blowers and bottom it, though. Bottom both. 
All right, they get another Emrakul, sure. They get to take our turn, but I can still top Marvel. These are the first couple of tracks on 4 Senic. Good stuff. Here, Burble, the world's best song. Burble beats You Suffer by Napalm Death any day of the week. So they're going to screw up our scries here. War of Invention and Botanical Sanctum. Attacks with Aether Theorist. And Emrakul. Imagine trading an Emrakul for a Rogue Refiner. Oko has that power, though. Yep. All right, deck. You know what to do. You know what to top deck. You know what to give me here. Can I live? I mean, I can technically live. Scry. They can crack the... They can spin the Marvel Wheel again if they have anything decent. Bottom both. That's not going to do it. All right, pass and just scry more with the glass blowers. Can they really spin the marble again? Oh, it's flying. That's right. Oh, I could have cracked the wood weavers. I wasn't going to top a marble, anyways. All right, on to sideboarding, bring in Ceremonious Rejections, bring in um, Disdainful Stroke, bring in Negates, bring in Spell Pierce, do I need Veil of Summer? I don't know, maybe. I guess I'm cutting War of Invention and Sentinel Totems. Just cutting the cutting the war plan and just going for Marvel only and just protect the Marvel. I guess. If I need to spell, I probably need to spell, huh? Alright, I guess to spell over Witching Well. Alright, we know what we're doing. We're going hardcore protection mode. Like to play first, yes. Uh, that is a lot of Aether Theorists. I'm gonna keep it because they can scry, and I have four lands, so I just gotta scry into Marvel and we're good. Alright, so... Botanical Sanctum, pass. Burble was good. Burble's a great song. Oh, Haz and Han is here. What's up, man? All right, uh, Island Aether Theorist. Terminator 100 bonus 10 thanks for hanging. I am going through a rough patch in Twitch. Streamers have helped a lot not feeling so lonely. Yo, yeah, Warefleet, I'm glad to hear that I'm helping you get through hard times. Thank you for the 100 tickle biddies. Wisewell 606 is almost dethroned for the bit boss. Um, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. This Twitch community can help you through hard times. That's all we ever planned to do. And that just means that we did our job. So glad to hear. I can stop on my upkeep to scry here. Warler Virtuoso, sure. I'm actually going to Veil of Summer just to really just dig. Really dig for this marvel here. All right, upkeep, scry. That's not a marvel. That's not a marvel either. All right, so let's go with actually let's keep that stop on our upkeep. Uh, let's go with uh, I'm gonna go witching well. No reason to egg here because I took out were. Um, so let's just really just scry like crazy. Oh, there's a marble. 
Oh, I should have kept that hammer goal on top. I always make that mistake. Dang. Okay, I'm actually I'm actually gonna golden egg here. Because I have ceremonious rejection. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Aether theorist. I can block with Aether Theorist, and I can hold up ceremonious rejection for their for their Aether Works Marvel. Yep, so they can marvel here if they have it. Nope. Reject that. And now I can spin my wheel. Alright, let's see what we get. Alright, marvel. Okay, the question is, do I want to scry here with Aether Theorist or not? If I don't scry, I can golden egg crack it. Um, I can crack the witching well, get an energy. No, it's just been the wheel now. We didn't hit any fat things yet except one emerald. Boom, there's a Ulamog. That's what I wanted. And exile your two lands. Yep, and they scoop it up. All right, that'll do it. <laughs> on the side broading. Uh, I'm gonna leave it exactly the same. Just go full on control here. Okay. Emrakul's dead. Botanical Sanctum scries as wishing well. Find lands. Wilder's Spells not crack it. Marvel, play it. Yeah, let's keep that. That's good. That's what we want. We just gotta hope it doesn't get disrupted. Now I'm gonna just when they have four mana, I'm just gonna hold up one mana to make them fear ceremonious rejection so that they don't play a Marvel, so that I can play the first Marvel. Gotta debate them like that. Okay. There's a land, I just need one more of those. There's a backup Marvel. Um, I'm on board with the backup Marvel, but then again, I might also want to draw a counter spell. No, I'm just gonna try to make him fear it. But I want the backup Marvel too. All right, I'm gonna keep the backup Marvel. Let's do it. I have what I need, might as well. Turn to Oko. They're imbalanced. Alright. They could have Marvel here, but they can't spin it, so let's just Woodweavers and pass. Next time we'll crack it, then crack the Marvel. Anyone got any cool Pioneer decks? Yeah, dude. Hardened Scales. Hardened Scales. I would say Monogreen Devotion is a pretty swaggin' um, Pioneer deck. Also, Monogreen Stompy. Just green decks in general. Really good in Pioneer. Monored Torbran. You gonna slam your Marvel here while you can? You are. Not even fearing me to have a return to nature. Tax the food. We'll take it. Alright, we gotta hit something amazing. And hope they don't counter our Marvel. Servant of the Conduit, that's two energy. Do you have a Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot as your last card? You don't. Gets in for four, that's fine. Ends the turn. Alright. Crack the Wood Weavers. And. Spin the wheel. What's your last card? Don't be ceremonious ejection. Alright, spin the wheel. There we go. Ulamog. Hit Oko and Marvel. Alright, now we're safe for a while. See if they got a backup Oko to shut down this Ulamog. 
and they scoop it up, they're not gonna beat that Ulamog. They didn't have any answers in hand and we got there in the mirror. And that's actually, I probably shouldn't spoil this, but you know what, I'm gonna say it. You know what, I'm not gonna say it, but we took down the Teamer Marvel, proven that Mono Blue Marvel seems to be more consistent. Seems to be a little bit more consistent. All the setup it gives you and provides and the backup with the were so good. Even though we didn't even use the were there still. Before we get into the sped up rounds of the video, I would like to remind you that if you were considering purchasing today's deck, or any cards really, it would be awesome if you purchased through our decklist link down below. That is our tcgplayer.com affiliate link, and when you purchase through that link, it really helps support the channel. And with that being said, let's resume the video. Hope you enjoy. What up guys, welcome to the speed up session for today's video. We're speeding up the next two rounds. We like to speed up the longest games in the video to make sure that it's not way longer than it should be. And as I always say, if you want to catch the full games unsped up, unedited, and uncut from the video, you can go to the Twitch link down below in the description and check out the entire VOD there. So in this first game, we're going up against Mono White Weenie, and it's super convenient that we have that Aether Theorist that can conveniently block Weenies very well. That's why we have it in the deck. I mean, not really, it's there for the energy, but also can block super good against like for example that sky marcher aspirin and any tokens they make and that kytheon now in this game they went super wide with triple folly as a tenant i'm able to aetherworks marvel out of ulamog but i'm forced to leave it back to block and this whole time they took like two minutes to play that banalish marshall but the whole time i was saying please don't have banalish marshall because that'd be the one thing that would kill us and it took them long enough but they ended up having it anyways they should have just windmill slammed it and killed us but there it is, they had it. So we move on to the next game and I forgot to side in Aether Spouse. I got so close, like the timer was like, I, I wanted to side it in, but I pressed submit and then I was like, oh wait, Aether Spouse. I tried to put it back in, but Moto has that thing that they never update. So I didn't get to side it in. Um, so in this game, we brought in the turtles and the turtles are super good blockers against like two, two bodies. And it was able to block a lot of stuff this game and save us a lot of damage. And that's why they're in the sideboard against decks like this. Now they had Gideon and I, I was able to Aetherworks Marvel out Ulamog and hit Gideon and Precinct Captain. And now I stay back with it for a second, but once I'm able to get the energy, I draw a word of invention to wear out a, um, uh, Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot to crack it and gain some energy and I'm able to spin the Marvel again and I don't know if I'm supposed to go with the go for it yet and I, I stay super cautious and now it's getting to the point where I really have to just risk it and so I take the risk here I take the risk I go attacking with the log I spin the Marvel and I hit the Emrakul and the Emrakul is what seals the deal so I literally just had to yellow it and hope that it worked and thank goodness it did um, so we're able to make it so that they're one hit away from dying and we got there. So we move on to game number three and this time I sat in the Aether Spouts. Not like before where I, I didn't get to side it in, but now I side it in. So now we have a board wipe and that's our instant speed terminus. Now this hand has all the energy we could want. It has the good blocker and Aether Theorist. All I have to do is literally just play land, 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 land and just spin the Marvel wheel. Now I think this is the game where my Marvel whiffed or... Yeah, yeah, my Marvel, I think, whiffed here on the first spin. So I play Glass Blowers, I scry a little bit, try to set up, and then it's unfortunate because I top deck, what was it, another Emrakul or Ulamog or something? Yeah, the Ulamog, whereas I would have word for that, so that, that's kind of a bummer. And so I whiff, and then I get a Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot, but I'm able to crack it and whir again, and that gives me an Ulamog that exiles two of their lands, and now they're stuck on nothing but little 1-1s one -ones and two lands because uh, they play the Adonto, but we ended up getting there with Ulamog because they can't really do much about that. They're forced to just chump and then they just die. Now they had Silk Wrap there. I was hoping it didn't have Suspension Field because Silk Wrap exiles a creature with CMC 3 or less, but Suspension Field exiles a creature with CMC 3 or more. So I was hoping they wouldn't have that and they didn't. And we got there against Mono White Weenie. Moving on to the last round of the video. Now this was more or less a good example of why you should put some more protection in the deck. First of all, I was supposed to win on turn three here, but I could not for the life of me find a land until like turn five, because I was supposed to War of Invention for Marvel a long time ago, and I could not find the land. But when I do, for some crazy reason, War of Invention resolves, and I spin the wheel, I get an Ulamog, but it's too, too little too late. They have enough attackers to go wide and I die. So I'll let this last round speak for itself, but Mono Blue Tempo is probably like our worst matchup. It's a super good Pioneer deck, and it's probably just like our worst matchup because it's like it has nothing but interaction and tempo and counter spells. And when you're playing a slow control deck like this, 
Like, it's it's really difficult. You might want to splash white. If you're going to brew around with this deck, you might want to splash white for, like, Teferi Time Raveler. Then again, a deck like Mono Blue Tempo will be able to beat down a Teferi. So you might want to add Supreme Verdicts as well. So it might be worth trying this deck and blue white just for the control factor of having Teferi to prevent counter spells from dealing with you. That's how Copycat deals with counter spells. And uh, yeah, it just might be worth your while to try brewing around with it. So I wish you the best of luck if you do try to brew with this deck. Anyways, that is going to wrap it up and let's move on to the wrap up. So we ended up with six total wins. Honestly, this deck, Marvel, it wasn't as busted as people are saying it is. Everybody was like immediately like Marvel's getting banned. Marvel is unfair. It's getting banned. But honestly, a lot of people answered it today. A lot of people were able to deal with it. Sometimes we actually just whiffed. Sometimes we were too slow and people were just able to trample over us because we were taking too long. Like, it can work by turn four if you have a really good draw. If you have Marvel in your opener, you can do it by turn four. Otherwise, it's going to happen like on turn five, maybe turn six. And that is is kind of slow. Aggro decks can run over you. So that's kind of, you got to pre prepare for that. Maybe we weren't prepared enough for aggro. But Wood Weavers does gain life. Golden Egg can crack to gain life. And this is a good blocker. We even got the turtles in the sideboard for blocking. But the deck functioned actually pretty well. And I do think... So one thing that I wanted to spoil earlier, but I didn't, is that we took down Teamer Marvel twice. And we have not lost to Teamer Marvel. So I would say that that probably means that Marvel were, and Mono Blue, like this, might be better than Teamer Marvel. But I, I, it's debatable because Teamer Marvel has the backup win cons. They got the Oko. They got, they can spin Marvel many more times in a row. They got the Delirium sub package so they can win in a grindy, just mid range game also. Whereas we're dedicated to Aetherworks Marvel. But if we can protect it from counter spells, we're good to go because there's no collector oof in this format. There's no Stony Silence. So it can work, the spec, especially because of the fact that you have basically eight copies of Marvel. So I like the deck. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new for the spicy to gameplay every other day. I hope you're liking the Pioneer format so far. Let me know if you want to see some more and what decks do you want to see. And uh, go check the social media. Links are down below. Go check out the Twitch channel as well. The link is down below as well. We currently stream every Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you very much to all the sponsors, the patrons, and the Twitch chat. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.